Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd bring you along because you know I, I like to do that when I want to play and tonight I'm going to play. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces in front of me. Uh, I've got a box that I might use part of. Um, a photo frame. Some foam board which is the I think it's a five millimeter so it's quite thick very light stuff is this and a photo frame and you're saying what the hell is she gonna do now I don't really know but I'm going I just got something in my head I also need a piece of do I need a piece for the back I do I need a piece of chipboard so I'm just I've got some here uh, oh no that's already cut and that's no that's the wrong size Sorry, just wait a minute. I need an A4 piece of chipboard. Two millimetre, three millimetre this one is. For the back, that's fine. Yeah. Okie dokie. Pop that to one side. And pop that to one side. So I first need to get this out. Let's have a look. In the bin. Roll my sleeves up because you know I get blathered. Oh, great, that's loose. Didn't know that was loose. Fine, that will do for something. In fact, I can put that back on on the back and let it stand up if I want. That's brilliant. Okay, let me just check. I could put that in. I could put that in. Not sure. Let me make up the... I'm, what I'm going to do is make a shadow frame. So first of all, pop that to one side, pop those to one side, one of those, and I need to cut this. Move my mats, otherwise I slice right through them. And let's cut this. I'm going to use a metal ruler and my X-Acto knife. Um. I need to measure this, spin my little... Do you know, I absolutely love this that I managed to find in it uh, from Samuel Taylor. Was it Samuel Taylor? Yeah, Samuel Taylor's. This um, turntable thing, it's full of just everything I have. It keeps it really neat off my on my desk, and I do use it properly. So what we're going to do is to measure two inch. Two inches. And then I'm going to cut that with that. So we need two lots for the sides. I'm going to do this two inches deep. Um, I've done one before like this. And it really did turn out lovely. So there's my two sides, which I need to measure the tops with. Um, so I only need one of these, don't I? That's it, because one of these will do. Right, let's have a look. Oh, no, I don't. I need to cut a piece off, don't I? So I'm just going to measure the two inches wide. We do need to keep it the same for the top and the bottom. Oh, oops a bit, that was a bit divvy. Silly woman. There. And what I'll do is cut that to that. Like that. Okay, so we've got that. Hmm, let me just... Ooh, see, I've cut right into that. We won't need... Uh, see that and that, look. We'll hide that bit. You won't need that bit. Because I'm going to measure the top of the frame. <coughs> Thank God I don't need it. It doesn't matter, we can alter it anyway. I can make them all... Always make them smaller. Now, with the frame, I'm going to just do them that wide. So that I can cut that off. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll take my scissors. That'll do. So from the second piece, I just need to cut that. And I like this deeper, uh, thicker board. Sorry, I just have to fit this in to cut it. It's just a lot easier to work with. Right, we'll shift that to one side so it's out the way. Pop that back. Pop those back. So what we've got now are these two. Okie dokie. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is just to measure exactly where I want these to be. So I'm just going to go in two centimetres. Like that. So measure in two centimetres. Draw the line. Because it's only your guide. Again, do the same on this side. Where did I do that there? Just draw right down because that line is just going to be your guide. <laughs> to make the box. Okay, and then we'll obviously need to make sure that's roughly the same. So I'm just going to glue it on like that. Right, all I had to do was just to trim off that edge again. Um, measure it right. I did measure two inches, I'm sure I did. Yes, that's two inches. So wasn't that? <laughs> no. How did I do that? You lot saw me do it. So I just need to measure two inches on the next piece. So we'll just pretend I've done that on the other one that I've just slashed up. There we go, just pop that to one side. Put my knife away, my scissors, keep it tidy feet. Right, we'll take this, and we're just going to pop that on there to fix the other side. So there's my nice deep frame that will sit on there. I have to make sure I've got that in the right place. So I will 
drop that down together so it's level and then I have to cut that section off so the only way to do that properly is to turn it upside down measure that because they're both the same width and then cut off the excess because they were both you know the same width So because it's quite thick is this board. <sighs> oh come on, my knife must be blunt. I'm gonna have to check my blades. There we go. So that's fine. Don't waste that, keep that, because you never know when that's gonna come in handy. And I might need that actually for later. So there you go. I've got the front and the back. Like that. This could all be decorated, which I'm going to do. So now what do I want in it? Right, here we go. So what I've done now is I've just cut off the top section so that they're both level. Just dropped it like that. That can now be glued together. But before I do that, I am going to paint the inside. Um, I also uh, want to see whether I'm going to do this have a box within a box or just have the frame like that and I'm not sure at the moment I'm not sure I want to if I was gonna have that I'd have to have that built out I'd have to have that built differently, to be honest. Yeah, and I've got a couple more of them, so I might just use them, actually. Let me just sort this computer out. Yeah, so I've got three of them. So I want the depth. So they would have to be, you know, glued together like that to get the depth and I think that's what I'm going to do I'll have that no I don't want that like that either sorry about that I've got some craft card because I need a backing for it to be honest so let's have a look okay so I need to put that on And I only need it a little bit away, about half a centimetre from the edge. So I'm just doing that. About half a centimetre, like I say. You'll see why. There we go. Like I said, sorry if I sound out of breath. I'm not, it's just uh, my chest still isn't quite right. Nothing to worry about though. So I've got that. Let's move this out of the way. And that needs gluing onto there. So what we do is we put that in place. That'll do. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, then what I'm going to do is to glue the edge. So get me a... Oh, I've done it now, it doesn't matter. So that goes on like that. Take any excess off that's, because I need the a picture to lay flat. Then take the glue, and I'm gonna use uh, glossy accents on this one. just going to be one of those days when nothing works like that 
yeah I'm still not sure what to do now just wait a minute Now, mm, that's a little bit too high. I could use the lid. So you can take that off. Couldn't I? I could use the lid and then pop that on it. Right, okay. So I've got to get that centerized now. Hmm. Okay, let's just have a look. Let's just see how we can do that. Hmm. Take my little pencil, and I'm just going to go like that. And like that. Okie dokie. You're going on whether you like it or not, mate. Okay, dokie. Right, and then just take all the excess off. any excess now I've just done this by eye you can measure it all <coughs> and do it all that way so that you get it perfect you know measure the center of the going across and the center of the top to bottom bit um, of course you can do that and get it centralized I'm just guessing right now and then what I am going to do is Just fix that onto there. And it's all going to be the same colour. I do like that. And I think... Let me see. Does that look straight? Yeah. Yeah, and it's more to that side, actually, but that's great because this is the side that's going to have the flowers on. So, yeah, I'm thrilled with that. Definitely am. That will do nicely. Now, the task is to paint it. So, what I'm going to do is uh, get my paper <coughs> and start to paint this. And I'm going to paint it uh, white. Right, just for now, I'm just going to get some doilies. Let's have a look. Now, <coughs> let's put that to one side a minute. I've got these, absolutely love these. I think this is very similar to what I sent um, Kay when I sent her parcel. So I might need to chop these. 
rest on there, mate. I'm just going to cut them, I think. Just cut them in half. Let's have a look, see what we've got. I've got some awesome laces and that coming in, ladies, so... And gents, of course. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. Right, just for now, what I'm going to do is just decorate around the edge. He's paint it again. So while that's settling, I'm going to paint the inside of this one. Go back to doing this and what I'm going to do is go over this again. The inside of the frame must be done. Right, we're back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this uh, and I'm using the Adirondack colour wash, which is the butterscotch. Um, <laughs> don't ask me what it will turn out like. I don't know. Um, but we're just going to spray it. And see what happens. And then what I'm going to do is to dry all that off before I use another one.
Right, now I'm just going to put some green on if it will work. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing here, but I'm just going to layer these colours on. <coughs> <coughs> Um, God knows what it'll turn out like. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> again, do I care? No. The one I've just used then was the Cosmic Shimmer one and that was the Meadow Lush. So I've used the um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and that's the Cranberry Zing. And I've also used the Adirondack Colour Wash, the Butterscotch. And right now I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Vintage one, which is the Antique Rose. And these are the ones I'll be getting in shortly. Okay. Now, for some reason, let's take that to a whole new colour. I do like the colours. Lots of green on that side, so what I'm going to do now is to dry that off again. Right, so what I've got now is a. That's the inside of the box done. And now what I'm going to do is concentrate on this section. Um, so I'm going to paint this white. And then we're going to colour that. Right, I found this that I've already cut out. I've fussy cut this out. Uh, and I do like that, so I'm going to use that. Um, but first, what I need to do is to cut out the middle section. Now I've chosen that. Um, I need to do the inside. Um, and that's what I'm going to do, I think. Yes, I think I will. So all I really have to do is to trim around this. Um, because there's no point in doing too fancy background if I'm using something, you know, as nice as that picture. Because you don't want to detract from the picture. So I'm just going to cover this using some of this from it came from a doily um, and I use, I like it because it's like a basket work so I'm just gonna see I take that section away 
bring this back up. I must put the glue gun back on. See, that will fit in there perfect. Um, and then the picture will just sit across it. Now, I like that. It's different. I don't even need to colour the background, but I do like that. And I will just lay that across there. I don't need to do anything else with it. And I think if you'll let see, like that sort of thing. Yeah, it's different and I like it. And I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to get some other bits and pieces out. Put this away. Um, while the glue gun heats up. I've got some of these. Just various leaves. And I've got some of these butterflies. These are forever in time. And you get the £2.70 from Samuel Taylor's. You get lots of them. And they're all tiny. Uh, and some bits. And these are the leaves I made myself. Now I do have a tutorial on how to make these leaves. And I made my own. And they're good. So I do have a tutorial on how to make leaves. <coughs> Right, so I think that glue gun's uh, ready. Oops. Let's just have a look. So all I'm going to do is just pop that in like that. Don't need to do that much with it. That's all you need to do with something like this. You seal it in where you want it. And that's fine. Okie dokie. And I think we'll have it that way around. So all I'm going to do is to add... I don't know whether I actually want to put some leaves maybe in here. No, don't like it. I like just that. Right, you need to pull that over a bit. Like that. Take off any excess. like that see how that looks it's a different look altogether we just uh, I don't want the same as everybody does and I never have I always I'm always different always so that will then go on there so I'm just gonna I have to make sure it's about the same yeah so now I'm going to glue that on And press that down as well. So now I've got some of these which I'm going to take off the plastic that they're on. You see these, and I'm just all I'm going to do is just pull it off like that.
Now, I might paint them up a bit yet. I don't know. Just for now. Um, I'm just adding them where I want them. Take the stalk off. And then that one will just sit in there like that. Like that. So we've got that up to now. So I might darken these yet. I'm not sure about that. Just let those... All dry up and uh, we'll see how we get on. Now here, um, what I wanted to put in was some of this. Um, again, it comes from the, you know, plastic plants. And look, it's quite whimsical. If you know what I mean. And uh, so I just have to cut it. Now, where do I want this to be kind of like in there I think do I want it that way no it has to go in there okay so I'm just going to pop, 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 pop some of the glue on the stem and then shove that in there like that so that's hanging. Um, I might need one more, I think. Just to extend up here. Like that. Um, and what I'll do is to glue maybe one of the leaves down to hold that up. Like that. And I can kind of like no I like that hanging like that actually hold it down hold that in there another little flower I think we'll go for the small bud I haven't done any of those leaves yet but I might do and I'm just going to stick the bud in there I like it coming out of that. Let's see if I've got another small flower. Oh, whack. Lots of dogs. And we're just going to pop that one in there. And that just takes that up that way. Uh, and then, of course, here. Well, what I wanted to do was, um, is I'm going to colour some, do you know what, I'm just going to use that lace that I've just used for the, um, I'm going to do that and I'm going to colour it. So I've just popped that out of the way. Oops, a daisy, where's my glue gun gone?
I could put one of the lamp posts. This is from Lucy. That's um Oh hang on a minute, what's this? Um Tressor's Deluxe. Um, she's got some beautiful stuff in, so run along and get it. I grabbed a load of this while I was uh, shopping with her. See, I like that. Now, wait a minute. Because you can do this any way you want, and I'm going to do mine like that, I think. Just for decoration. That's all it's for. Decoration. Right, I'm going to glue this on with glossy accents because the, the what's it glue isn't going to be any good to do it. So I'm just going to... Sorry, I'm just putting the glue on. <clears throat> Hope you can see this. like that let's get this section on I want mine like that Like that. Let me check that out. Yeah, that's how I want it. Um, and I'm just going to try and find some words um, that I can use. These are all from Tressor's Deluxe. Memory lane, no moments this way, your path that could go on, I suppose. And I'm going to use the glossy accents to uh, stick that on. So we're going to pop that there. So that's like my dream garden. And then I've got these little butterflies. Which I think I will leave natural. I like the script ones, to be honest. So I'm just going to take several of those... And in a hand. One landed on a hand. And there you go. Now all I've got to do is to finish the outside, which I will do that. But there you go, that's another project done. Um, again, it's just, I'm going to darken these, I think. Oh. Do I? Do I want to darken them? I'm not sure. 
Um, let me just see. I think I'll use this. I'm going to use the um, vintage antique rose, the vintage one, just to darken the roses a little bit. Come on, work. It's because it's not. It's laid flat. And it will also give them a pearlised finish. Now, I need to just take my cloth, switch that off and just wipe the legs. Because it's a photographic, it's like photographic paper, it will wipe straight off, it's not going to hurt anything. And, uh, yeah. Great. Let me find the hole it was on. That's darkened them slightly. They were too pink for me. I'm just going to go in there and spray them a little bit more. And I might just give them a hint, just a hint of... See? That's it. Now I like that. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I've got. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just use a little bit of alcohol because I think it just it's. I don't want it to stand out. This I want to stand out. Oops. So we take the sponge and we will. That's better. That's done the trick. Blends in more. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Please try it. Play. You must, must play. And that's all it is. Bye-bye for now.